Team dynamics are critical during resuscitation attempt. The interaction among team members has a profound impact on the effectiveness of each individual as well as the patient's overall survival. The better you work as a team, the better the potential outcome for your patient. That's why it is so important that we understand not just what to do in a resuscitation attempt, but how to communicate and perform as a team, regardless your role as a team member or team leader. In this video, we are going to demonstrate an effective resuscitation team in a case scenario. Our simulation will have five team members. Our case study begins in the emergency department where a 51-year-old man has been brought in complaining of severe palpitation associated with epigastric discomfort. On arrival, he is responsive and fully awake. Fella, do you have a set of vitals from our patient? Yes, blood pressure 12 over 7, respiratory rate 22, saturation 98, but a little bit tachycardic on 61. Okay, great. Please, Myra, let's go to the ECG and connect the patient to the monitor to continue the check the risk. Okay. Fella, please go ahead and get the IV line started right now. Okay, Dr. Kassi, I think our patient have a paroxysm or supraventricular tachycardia. You are right, this is SVT. Because our patient is hemodynamically stable, let's first try cultured massage. Okay. Put cultured massage and modified valsalva maneuver failed, Doctor. Please, Bella, give adenosine 6 mg IV push. Okay. Still no response, as VT is always there. But it seems that the patient is more and more confused. Yeah, the patient is hypertensive, doctor. He becomes unstable. Please, do immediate cardioversion. Okay, synchronized cardioversion, I'm charging 100 joules. The patient won't into V3. Please, Maya, call a code, please. What do in the ER? What do in the ER? Abbas, start chest compression. No, you will manage that way. Omar, you will be on the difficulty later. Maya will be recording. Pella, check the IV and ensure that's working properly. All is good, doctor. Perfect. IV in place. Perfect. Charging at 200 Joule by the biphasic shock. Shock ready, clear. Shock on 3, 2, 1. We will continue CPR for 2 minutes, then we evaluate the need for additional defibrillation. Fella, we need to draw the drugs up before each rhythm check. If cardiac arrest exists, we can move quickly to drug therapy. Let's begin with 1 mg of epinephrine. Let's analyze, switch roles. No pulse. Patient remains in defib. Please, let's shock again. Shock ready. Keep the patient. Shocking on one, two, three. Shock delivered. Shock delivered. Please, Omar, continue CPR. Bella, give one milligram of epinephrine. Till now, we have given two shocks and one milligram of epinephrine. If patient remains in defib, the next medication to consider is amiodarone. This pellet the 300 milligrams of amiodarone. Okay. Note, can you tell us how often do you ventilate using ambulac? Yes, I do deliver one less every six seconds because excessive ventilation will decrease the cardiac output by decreasing the venous return. Okay, great. That's fine. Two minutes, check pulse. Let's analyze, switch roles. Patient still in the field. Please, let's shock again. Charging at 200 Joule. Shock ready. Heal the patient. Three, two, one. Please continue CPR. Please spell the gift 100 milligrams amiodarone. 
Omar, are you performing a high quality CPR? Yes, we are achieving a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute at a depth of 5 to 6 centimeters. Uh, we're avoiding any leaning on the chest to, uh, to, to let for chest pull the recoil and we're minimizing any pause in the compressions. Okay, good. Continue CPR, please. It's time to give epinephrine. It has been three minutes since our last dose. Okay, perfect. Give one milligram of epinephrine, please, Perla. One milligram epinephrine done. Great. Two minutes, check pulse. Let's analyze, switch roles. Do we have a pulse? Yes, there is a pulse. The monitor shows signs tachycardia. So, let's initiate immediate post arrest care. Perla, let's get a full set of vital sign and labs, please. Okay. Maria, let's do a 12 bead ECG. I'm on it. Noor, can you check to see if the patient is breathing and responsive? The patient is still non responsive and is not breathing. So, let's in in insert an advanced airway and prepare for therapeutic hypothermia. Tube in. Okay, great. Patient is hemodynamically unstable, tachycardic with hypotension, 7 over 4. Please, Bella, let's start the espresso. Okay. Oh, this is inferior stimmy. Let's call the cat lab and tell them that we have a stimmy patient. Successful team not only have medical expertise and mastery of resuscitation skills, but also they practice good communication and adhere to the key elements of effective team dynamic. These elements help teams work together in the most perfect way. These elements include closed loop communication, clear messages, clear responsibilities and role, knowledge sharing and mutual respect. Combining your knowledge of essential skills of cardiac arrest with elements of effective team dynamics can give your team the better chance of success with every resuscitation attempt.